Now we're going to use multi-body modeling to create this adjustable speaker bracket. You'll create all the components in a single part file, export the parts to an assembly file, and then convert the parts to sheet metal parts. Once you've done that, you'll create the 2D drawings for all the components and the assembly. Start by creating a new part file using the part fix point template. When you're working on a sheet metal part, sheet metal styles control the thickness of the sheet and radius of bins, as well as other style settings that you've practiced with. The trick to using multi-body modeling to create sheet metal parts is understanding style settings and constructing the parts so that they comply with the settings. So the first thing we're going to do is add a user parameter for the thickness. Open the parameters dialog box. And then add a user parameter named wall. The wall thickness of the part is going to be an eighth of an inch, so enter 0.125 in the equation cell. The bend radius is going to be equal to the thickness, so add a new user parameter and name it inner underscore radius. Set it equal to the wall parameter. And then add another parameter and name it outer radius. This parameter is going to be equal to the inner radius plus the wall. We could have made it two times the wall thickness, but using this equation makes it easier to change the bend radius if we want to. Adding parameters that represent the sheet metal styles we've defined is very important when it comes to multi-body sheet metal modeling. Because if our models don't match the sheet metal style, they won't unfold. So we're going to use these parameters to define bends and wall thicknesses. Close the dialog box, and then draw this profile. Set the thickness of the wall to the wall parameter. and set the thickness on the top to the first dimension. Now set the width of the bottom leg to two and a half inches. And set the height of the top leg to 12 inches. Confirm that the sketch is fully constrained and then extrude the profile six inches. Now it's time to add the bin. Open the fillet command and set the radius to the inner radius parameter. Select the inner edge and then click the plus sign. Now set the radius to the outer radius parameter. Select the outer edge and then click OK. As I mentioned in earlier lessons, you should save finishing features like fillets for the end of the construction, which is pretty much what we've done here, but we're not finished. We're going to add several bodies to this file, so you can wait until all the bodies have been finished before you add the fillets. But when it comes to sheet metal parts, I prefer adding all the bins to the part before I move to the next part, because it keeps all the major operations separate. So let's create the second body. Create a sketch on the XY plane. And then project the center point onto the sketch. Now draw this sketch. It's identical to the last sketch but mirrored. Set the height of the bottom leg to the wall parameter. And then set the thickness of the top leg to the first dimension.
Set the width of the bottom leg to two and a half inches and the height of the top leg to 16 inches. Now extrude the profile. Be sure to select New Solid and the distance is 6 inches. Once you've done that, add the bin. Now that we've created a couple of bodies, let's save the file. Create a folder in the Sheet Metal Design folder and name it Speaker Bracket. Now create a subfolder named Components. Save the file in the Components subfolder under the name Base Assembly Part. Now we need to add some holes and features to the bodies. We'll do this in the next lesson.